Get ready for a cross-conference class. The Giants have won three of the last four against the Raiders. But does Vegas have something up their sleeve? Find out next on EA Sports. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. Now, they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they can't be any better as we hit the halfway mark. A perfect 7-0 on the year. And when we looked at this team in August and we looked at the schedule, we thought they had the potential to get off to a hot start, but I don't think either of us expected 7-0. on the scoreboard 0-0 zero, zero, as the offense gets ready to take over the football throwing on first down is Carr complete to his running back Kenyon Drake he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of 7 just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first. At the underscore army 22, it seems like your sound alerts browser source is offline. Make sure you've implemented the source correctly, you know. Throwing again on second down. Carr, he's going to loft one deep left side here. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Brian Edwards, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Raiders, on just two plays, have taken the lead. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one-receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Carr going to throw. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Henry Ruggs, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. For Henry Ruggs, he was the fastest runner at the 2020 Combine, ran the 40 and 4.27. That is fast, folks, and that speed in evidence there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team trials that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense and they blitz more in the beginning to get them going. 
offense. They may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Carr. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. A one in seven, their record here at the midway point of the season. And right now, this organization, more than... Interception. This offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Now after the INT, it's Carr. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Car now on first down. Get here by Ruggs. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Coming up on second and seven. On play action, it's Carr. That's into the hands of Edwards. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 32-yard line. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Carr going to leave this for Drake on the draw. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Down right around the 25. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. That's going to set him back five yards. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Here's Carr to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Derek Carr taking it in from seven yards away. And the Raiders add on to their lead. The 
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> pressure is I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. <laughs> First and 10 now from the 33. To throw his car. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play there for the Raiders. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Carr. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second and 10, Carr. And that is caught. It's Ruggs. Touchdown, Vegas. Third touchdown pass oh, yeah. now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders will extend their lead here just before halftime. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Throwing on first down. Carr. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. It's caught inside the 25. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Make it four touchdown passes now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly that, clear that by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Gotta be patient, baby. Gotta be patient. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's at the lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First and 10, Carr, there goes a deep ball, end zone. And this is caught, 
Touchdown, Raiders. Brian Edwards. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance traveled or the accuracy involved? Because I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're trying to hit a guy... The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. On second down, it's Drake. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. This to Jacobs on the toss right. And he's got Rome. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Right when he pitched that to him, it looked like he had a good numbers advantage on the outside. He did, and it turned into a nice game. Allowed his vision to take over, too, because he was able to pick when he put his foot in the ground and took off that field because he actually had options. Could he go now, wait another second? It really didn't matter, but he chose the exact right time and turned it into a big-time run. Into the red zone, it's Carr. On the move to his left. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get high. And he stopped immediately there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night, a half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. Throwing his car on third down. Touchdown, Raiders! Brian Edwards with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Raiders get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it. And he's... The Raider offense set to get this drive started. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We, share we, that. we enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we can probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. On first down, it's Jacobs. A second broken tackle, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. Stays on his feet. The cornerback, it's Logan Ryan who brings him down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. They'll run on first down. Jacobs. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second down, Jacobs once more. They are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the... The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And it would appear that the open week a week ago came just at the right time as they have dominated the proceedings here into this fourth quarter. A good run there to start the drive. 13 yards, let's first go, down. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Running is Jacobs. Fights him off. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Here we go, here we go. Here and we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Pushing his way through. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Going on the ground with Jacobs. Breaks through the contact, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. There we go. 
Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory, riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Las Vegas, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll return home.